New at 6, the people living near a home in Broken Arrow that now is uh, infamous for the murders that happened there two years ago. They finally get some help healing from all of that. Fox 23's Rick Marin on reporting for us tonight with the plans for the Bever family home that will be unveiled on Friday morning. Clay, Friday morning, the city of Broken Arrow will announce that they are raising money so they can take possession of the home and get rid of it once and for all. It'd almost be fun to all of us neighbors go and take a sledgehammer. And 709 Magnolia Court was dark before July 22nd, 2015, and today it sits with a dark reputation. To me, it's just an empty house next door. I don't dwell on anything that happened there. The only time I get involved with the house is when some vandals are around. Pat McGahey lives next door. She moved in after Robert and Michael Bever stabbed their parents and siblings. Though the house sits quiet now, there's an ominous feeling that speaks for itself. This community here has uh, suffered a lot. And I think for the house to come down and know that the, the families can gather over there if they if they would like, I think it's a great idea. This large family home still sits as a scar for neighbors who live around it and who knew the family themselves, but they say a large park on the property would be a great way to honor the family and move forward. Friday, the city will start fundraising to tear down the house and turn it into a park. It sits by a playground already. Everyone knows what it represents now, what happened there, and we still have a few drive-bys. There are still some people who drive by from time to time just to gawk. Julie Wallace lives two doors down. She says the family kept to themselves and no one really knew their story until their final chapter. And now it's time to turn the page on the house. I don't have windows that face it, thank goodness. So, yeah, it's... But when I park up front, it's, I see it a lot. I also had the dog that the Bevers had, so I have a constant reminder of the tragedy, but that's okay. The fund is being set up to raise money for the city to take possession of this house at the Tulsa Community Foundation. We should note that they need to raise money not only to take the house and the property, but also to tear down this scar and relieve neighbors of the sight of this house of horrors. Reporting live, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marinon, Fox 23 News.